kibbles versus home-cooked food. Which one will Fabius pick? Let us know in the comments. What is up, YouTube? Fabius and Gertie's dad here. Today, we're going to see what food Fabius will pick. Either his old food of bland kibbles, or his new home-cooked food that has beef, eggs, vegetables, and all kinds of other healthy fun stuff. I'll put a link in the description that shows you how to make it. So this is how it's gonna work. I will put Fabius in a back room. We will set out both bowls of food. Then we will let him out of the room and let him choose. Which one do you think he will pick? Let us know in the comments. Before we get started, I wanted to tell a quick backstory of how and why we even started cooking Fabius and Gertie home cooked meals. And it all started with this little poop head. When we first got Gertie, she weighed very little had two parasites and an inflamed stomach. We were able to get rid of the parasites fast and bring the inflammation down, but for the next two years, Gertie would randomly throw up about two to three times a week and she had zero interest in food. It was really sad seeing her throw up because you can see her struggle right beforehand and it broke our hearts. We literally tried everything from different meds and ideas the vet would give us to almost every single brand of dry or canned food you can think of, and nothing would work. We would even do silly things to her food to try to get her interested, like fake adding condiments, microwaving it, acting like we were eating it ourselves from her bowl. We were getting desperate. It's kind of weird having a dog that doesn't care at all when you bring food out, especially when you have Fabius, who will literally yell at you if you are a minute late. It also made training hard because food is usually what is used to motivate and it had zero effect. Bang. <laughs> Gertie, bang. <laughs> then one day, I stumbled on a dog called Bobby online, the Guinness Book of World Records for the oldest dog in the world, who just turned 30. What? How could that be? It only made sense upon further review that he lived in a village and ate from the land, never having kibble once and eating completely fresh. This discovery completely opened up my eyes. And after doing extensive research, I learned that kibbles are the worst possible thing that you can give your dog. We quickly found a home dog food recipe that contained ingredients such as beef, eggs, chard, green beans, eggshells for calcium, and guess what? All of Gertie's issues practically went away. Instead of throwing up two to three times a week, it went down to once every six weeks. Not only that, she can't wait to eat now. She does crazy spins and she barks in excitement. It's, it's truly incredible. Now, since Gertie was on this meal plan, we decided to get Fabius on it too, and holy cow, the changes in him were crazy. Not only did his body completely thin out, but his energy levels are way higher now. At the age of six, he started acting like a puppy again. Me and my girlfriend were completely blown away. Anyway, now's the time to put out both his new home-cooked food and his old kibbles, and let's see what Fabius chooses. Enjoy. Fabius, you're not supposed to have <laughs> No, you can only have your only other food. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy.